Here I've got a nice integral that looks pretty scary at first, but really isn't that bad once you get down to it. So we want to find the integral from 1 to e of f of x dx, where f of x is defined as the, the determinant of the following 3 by 3 matrix. So I'll read it column wise. We've got 1, 1, 1, natural log of x, 2 times natural log of x, 3 times natural log of x, natural log of x quantity squared, 4 times natural log of x quantity squared, and 9 times natural log of x quantity squared. Now next, I want to notice that these rows have a nice structure. We have 1 something something squared in every row. So here we've got 1 something something squared. So that actually makes this something called a Vandermonde matrix. And there's a well-known closed formula for the determinant of a Vandermonde matrix. But I'm not going to use that here. If you guys are interested in that, I urge you to like look up what a Vandermonde matrix is and how to prove its determinant formula. We're just going to find this determinant with brute force. Okay, so let's maybe get to it. So we're going to calculate this determinant by cofactor expansion. And what I mean by that is we'll cross out the first column and then successive rows and take determinants of the appropriate sub matrices. So if we cross the first column in the first row, that gives us one times the determinant of two natural log of x, four natural log of x quantity squared, and then three natural log of x and nine natural log of x quantity squared. So just to reiterate, that's from crossing the first column and the first row, leaving us this two by two sub matrix. Now we'll continue doing, <clears throat> doing that down the first column. And so our signs will alternate. So we'll have minus one times the determinant of this sub two by two matrix. So that's going to be natural log of x, natural log of x quantity squared, 3 natural log of x, and 9 natural log of x quantity squared, like that. And then finally, from crossing the first column in the third row, we get the 2 by 2 matrix, which is up here. So that's going to give us a plus natural log of x, natural log of x squared, and a two natural log of x time, and then a four natural log of x quantity squared. Okay, great. So now there's actually a trick for finding the determinants that would involve doing column operations and then keeping in mind what happens when you apply column operations to the determinant. But again, we're just gonna use straightforward calculation. So we use the fact that the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix is the product of the diagonals, then the product of the off diagonals, and then you take their difference. So for this guy right here, we have 2 times 9 natural log cubed, so that's going to be 18 natural log cubed, minus 3 times 4 natural log cubed, so that'll be 6 natural log of x quantity cubed, like that. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing here, but we need to subtract. So here we'll have nine natural log of x cubed minus three natural log of x cubed. That's gonna be six natural log of x cubed. Then finally, we'll have four natural log of x cubed minus two natural log of x cubed. That'll be two natural log of x cubed. So obviously we have a simplification that occurs here. This guy and this guy will cancel telling us that f of x is indeed equal to 2 natural log of x quantity cubed. So in fact, we want to find the integral of this function. Okay, so let's maybe summarize that up here and then we'll make our calculation. So on the last board, we determined that our function f was equal to 2 times natural log of x cubed. And so that's the function that we want to integrate from 1 to e. So I'm gonna do this by first making a change of variables. So instead of having a natural log, we have a logarithm. This is gonna make this a little bit nicer to work with, even though we'll still have to use integration by parts. So I'll take u and set it equal to natural log of x, but that's the same thing as saying that x is equal to e to the u 
But that means that our differential component dx is e to the u du just by taking the derivative. Now let's see what happens to our bounds of integration. So if x is equal to 1, that tells us that u is equal to 0 because natural log of 1 is 0. And if x is equal to e, that tells us that u is equal to 1 because natural log of 1 or natural log of e is 1. So that means we can transform this integral into the integral from 0 up to 1. I'll bring my 2 out, and then I'll have u cubed here times e to the u du. So like I said, u cubed e to the u du. Okay, great. And now, this is like a classic integration by parts problem, which you can solve maybe using something called tabular integration. So I'll do that down here. So I'll make my polynomial part on the left-hand column, my exponential part on the right-hand column. Then I'll take the derivatives down the left-hand column until I hit 0. So here I have 3u squared, 6u, 6, and then 0. Then take antiderivatives down the right column. So that'll give me e to the u, e to the u, e to the u, e to the u. Next, I want to match on the diagonal. I should point out that this is just a quick way of doing repeated integration by parts. So match on the diagonal like this, and then I will alternate the signs. So I'll give this a plus, a minus, a plus, and then a minus. That's just a really quick way of making this calculation. So that tells us we have two times, well, it's going to be u cubed e to the u minus 3u squared e to the u plus 6u e to the u minus 6e to the u. Like that, we need to evaluate that from 0 up to 1. Okay, so let's see where that leads us. We'll have 2u cubed minus 6u squared plus 12u minus 12 times e to the u, again, evaluated from 0 to 1. So let's see what we get if we plug 1 in here. So if we plug 1 into this, we'll have 12 minus 12, that's equal to 0. 2 minus 6, that's equal to negative 4e to the 1. So we have minus 4e. Again, that's what we get for plugging in 1. Now we need to subtract whatever we get from plugging in 0. But that's going to be negative 12 from this guy right here. So in the end, maybe writing this a little bit more nicely, we see that this is 12 minus 4e, and that's our final solution. And that's a good place to stop.